still represents the largest atomic structure that has ever been solved anywhere in the world. And, and it's really quite a remarkable achievement by a lot of people. What Warwick has is, is these computer-driven machines that will actually print from our coordinates in three dimensions. And what you see is, is essentially an accurate representation of that structure recreated in three dimensions. And as a research prop, as a, as a teaching aid, this is really, you know, exceedingly useful. Another part we might make for an automotive en uh, engine, yes, it's, it's standard. It's been designed, manufactured. Um, it's a very standard shape, very standard geometry. Um, so, you know, this is very organic, free-form structure, so completely different, really. This was built in this orientation, and, and basically the, the data was sliced in this, this manner, um, and then the machine layers a layer of nylon powder over a build area, and the laser then melts one cross-section of that part. Um, after that layer has been built, um, that build area drops down one layer of thickness, which in this case is 150 microns, or 0.15 millimetres. Um, another layer of powder is put over that area, and the laser scans the next layer. So the part is built from the bottom up to the top. By having a, a detailed analysis of this, it will inevitably help us to generate proteins artificially that will raise a good neutralising antibody response. And, and that's one of our, our principal targets. Of the, of the research. Mm -hmm.